Hi, my name is Akash Hamirvasya and welcome to this special presentation of Slanted where I'll be showing you some of the new features that are coming to the product. I started building Slanted two years ago to solve a personal problem I had with creating stunning looking product videos from simple screen recordings really quickly. I realized there's not a single tool that allows you to take your screen recording and add in those 3D effects that we see in popular product videos and export it to share it with the rest of the world. You have to fiddle around with a lot of video animation softwares, 3D softwares, spend countless hours learning them, and finally spend a lot of time tweaking your videos uh, to get the desired output. This is exactly why I created Slanted. And over the years, I've seen that this problem is not just unique to me anymore. A lot of you have used Slanted to create videos of your personal websites, of your portfolios, of your products, and shared them on websites like Product Hunt and on Twitter. And even today, whenever I see someone posting a video created with Slanted, it brings a big smile to my face to see that a product that I created is adding value and solving a problem for someone out there. If you have used Slanted in the last one or two years, I'm really thankful and grateful to you to making the product what it is today. With that, let's discuss what's next for Slanted. I've been working on this really big update for Slanted called Slanted V2, and it has a ton of features that I want to show you in this presentation. Before I jump into showing you these new features, let's see what a typical workflow inside Slanted looks like. Every Slanted workflow is divided into three stages. The first stage is import. This is where you bring in your media that you want to edit with Slanted. It can be your screen recordings, your video files, your image files, anything that you want to edit with Slanted. The next stage is animation. This is where you add in the 3D animations that Slanted has to bring in a unique 3D perspective to the video that you're creating. Finally, the last stage is export, where you export your creation to share it with the rest of the world. Slanted V2 adds in a lot of new features to all of these stages, but let's start with the first stage, which is import. Yes, finally, multiple media files are here. This has been one of the most requested features inside Slanted, and it's finally, finally here. You can now use both images and video clips inside the timeline at once. With this update, you can have multiple instances of images or multiple instances of videos inside your single timeline. You don't have to fiddle around with choosing just one video file, exporting your creation, then combining it with other video editing softwares, you can bring in all the media that you want at once inside Slanted, rearrange them, add in 3D animations, and tweak them as much as you want. All the video clips are shown in blue, and all the image clips are shown in green. This new feature has been made possible thanks to the all new animation system that has been built from the ground up that powers Slanted V2. This new animation system not only supports images or video clips, but can be extended in the future to support a wide variety of clips that we haven't even seen in Slanted till now. The next feature is something I'm sure designers will really love, and that is import from Figma. You can finally import your creations directly from Figma inside Slanted without having to download them first. Let's take a look at how it works. Say you have this nice design that you have created. You can simply select your design and copy it as PNG. Then you can directly jump inside Slanted and paste your design over here. Slanted immediately recognizes this as an image file, and you can rearrange it, drop in all the 3D animations, and simply present your design in a completely new way. There are also a bunch of improvements that have been made to how you import media. So simple things like drag and drop now works, copy pasting now works, and you'll see it's much easier to import media now into Slanted than ever before. So those are all the new features inside import. Let's talk about the next stage, which is animate. Fade transitions are here. 
This has also been one of the most requested features inside Slanted. And you can finally use this to add in a subtle fade in or fade out transition to any of your animations inside Slanted. You might think that this is not a lot, but believe me, when you add in that subtle fade out transition, your video instantly gets that nice professional pop and gives a completely unique look uh, to your video in my opinion. I can't wait for you to try it out. It's really simple. You simply choose a particular animation and add a fade in or fade out transition. You can tweak the durations as much as you want using the sliders inside the timeline and see how the effect works. I've used this a lot inside all the videos that I've been creating with Slanted V2 and I'm sure even you will. So do check it out. The next new feature is all the changes that have been made to the timeline. The new timeline inside Slanted V2 comes with a nice little seek head that you can use to precisely move on your timeline. And yes, you can finally zoom in and out on the timeline to see all the media clips that you have added for the very long video you are creating. The snapping behavior on the timeline has also been improved and now you can snap on different media files that you have. You can also snap on the seek head and on the other animations that you have added. By default, the animations now snap at 10 millisecond breakpoints instead of 100 milliseconds for much granular control. If you want to snap with 100 milliseconds, you can hold down shift and then resize your animations, in which case it will snap to 100 milliseconds. I haven't even covered all the new features inside the new timeline that comes with Slanted V2, but these are all the new features. The next feature is a big productivity improvement and I'm sure a lot of you will start using it once I show it to you. And this is Offset Shortcut. A lot of you may not know, but you can select any animation on Slanted to change the offset using the sliders that are already present. Now you can hold down shift and drag around in the canvas or scroll to zoom in and out and change the offset in a really intuitive way instead of those sliders. When you change the offset, the animation focuses on a completely new part of your video and it continues to play from there. I've been using this a lot to customize all the animations that I add to focus on the various parts of the product video that I'm creating. Needless to say, this new update also improves the editor performance. You'll now notice 25 times less CPU usage when the slanted editor is idle. If you have used slanted editor in the past and have noticed your fan spinning or the editor performing a lot of operations in the background, you'll now notice that all of these are no longer happening. Slanted editor does not re-render anything by default on your screen and whenever you change something, that is when the actual draw calls kick in. So needless to say, if you have used Slanted V1 in the past and have noticed poor performance, definitely try out V2. The editor is much, much smoother than before. That covers all the features inside the animate stage of Slanted. Let's finally move to the export stage. And this is the most important stage inside Slanted because whatever you have created inside Slanted needs to be exported before you can share it with others. Slanted uses the best-in-class technology to export your videos on the browser itself and there's very few editors out there that can achieve this. The export process itself is improved greatly in the V2 update and let's start by looking at some of them. Say hello to Turbo Export. Turbo Export employs a completely new encoding process that Slanted uses to export your videos. And once you start using it, you'll immediately notice the huge speed improvement Slanted has while exporting your videos. Slanted can now export videos up to seven times faster than Slanted V1 with Turbo Export enabled. And this means that your exports are now faster than the playback time of the video itself. If you have a video that is one minute long and you export it with Turbo Export, your video might be exported in just 30 seconds. Crazy, right? This new encoding process also results in flawless 60 FPS exports. No more frame drops, no more jittery arrow moving around the screen. You'll always get the smoothest output every time. To turn on Turbo Export, you simply turn it on from the export settings and simply start the export process and you'll immediately notice the huge performance difference it makes. 
So that is Turbo Export. It is currently available as an experimental feature inside Slanted V2 and it works best with MP4 videos and some QuickTime videos on the timeline. So that was about Turbo Export. You might be wondering, what about the regular export that was already there inside Slanted V1? Is there any change in the regular export process? Well, I'm happy to say the regular export is now 50% faster and you'll immediately notice these differences because this is the default way Slanted exports videos. Whenever you want to opt into using Turbo Export, you turn it on and then you can start using it. Um, but by default, regular export is what has been working best and this is also now 50% faster. Oh, and you can also now finally export MP4 files on Firefox thanks to some of the updates the browser has been making. The new export process also comes with an all new export interface. This new interface shows you all the steps Slanted has to do to export your video. And it also gives you a very accurate estimated time of completion now, which you can use to decide whether you have to step out to get some coffee or whether you can simply sit and watch the export process complete. Those were all the features inside export and we have covered all the stages inside the Slanted workflow. Slanted V2 improves all the aspects of Slanted and makes the product not only easier to use but much faster and much more powerful. I can't wait for you to try it out. We have covered a lot in this presentation, so let's go over a quick summary. Slanted V2 brings in the much awaited multiple media file support, the all new fade transitions and the super fast turbo export and a host of productivity improvements like importing from Figma, copy pasting, dropping your media and so much more. This is Slanted V2 and I can't wait for you to try it out. Head over to slanted.app to give it a try. You can start using Slanted for free and upgrade to Slanted Pro to unlock all the features. Thank you so much for attending and listening to this presentation and I can't wait to see you in the product and see what you create with Slanted V2. Thank you so much.